Hi guys, Justin Goodrich with Prairie State Tractor. Today, I'm gonna to demonstrate how to remove an auto connect mower deck from a 2025 hour tractor. To take the deck off, you need to make sure before you set it down that it is on a flat surface. Now, all surfaces aren't created equal. You can see here, this floor here is smooth. The mower deck, if you set it on a smooth surface, it tends to want to slide a little bit. So we're gonna demonstrate it here with it putting it on top of a rubber mat to help give it some grip. Now there's a few other surfaces you could remove this deck on that would give it some grip without it moving. Would be brushed concrete, grass, or even gravel. Now the idea though with all four of these surfaces is to make sure that it is flat, completely flat. So we're gonna hop on the tractor here we're gonna back the deck over the top of this mat and then we'll continue on with our steps. This should be good. We'll put the tractor in neutral and before I get off of the seat, this tractor and the mower deck, the linkage on it is a mechanical lift. So what that means is, is you're gonna use your rock shaft lever for your up and down motion on your deck and your three point. So you wanna make sure that it's pulled all the way back. I'll shut the tractor off so I'm not screaming. With the deck all the way in the up position, right here is your height of, height of cut adjustment knob. You will take this knob and you will turn it counterclockwise all the way to the installed position and you'll feel it you'll feel it click in now this needs to be white to the white decal on the tractor knob here that will allow that deck to go all the way flat onto the ground for you to remove it before you use your three-point lever to set the mower deck down all four of your gauge wheels will need to free float and in order for it to do that, you'll pull this up, allowing that to move up and down inside that, that gauge wheel. What this bracket right here is doing too, is it's allowing it to catch that gauge wheel. That's, that's all that that pin is going to help you with. Now that those four are pulled up, you can, you can go over here and you will take your, your three-point rock shaft lever and you'll push that all the way forward. You will see that that mower deck now has dropped completely onto the frame of the mower deck. Best practice before you do anything is to push down on that to make sure that that deck is not teetering that it is completely flat and it's not moving. As you can see here, it is. Your next step, you can get on your knees here. And this pin here, what this is doing is, is this is holding this bracket tight in there so that doesn't happen to slip out when you're using the deck. So you'll pull that, that pin out and you'll simply just take your finger here and you'll roll that forward and it'll come to a stop. You'll go over to the other side and complete the same process. You'll pull your pin out and you'll lift that up. Now, a quick tip, you'll see here that this, this is able to, free, to, to spin freely. If you ever experience to where possibly this is stuck, for example, if I push this forward, you will see here I push that deck forward to where it's not allowing that to rotate up. If that happens to you, it's simply you can reach the front of this mower deck here and you can pull back on it, okay? And what we've just done is since we pulled back on that, it's now completely on the back side of this black bracket and it allows this to spin freely up. Just a quick tip. Now the deck is completely free 
we're able to get back on the tractor and we're able to back the tractor over the top of the mower deck. So I will get on the tractor, I will start it, rule of thumb, in order to make your life a little easier, you are going to want to put the tractor in front wheel drive, four wheel drive, put your transmission into low, and I like to just take my throttle and just ease it up just a little bit, just some extra RPMs just to help the tractor walk over the top of the deck. Now as I'm backing away from the deck, those brackets that we spun up, you will hear them click back to the originally stalled position. You want that to happen. So I'll just go. As you can see, even with the mat, the deck did scoot just a little bit, but it wasn't as severe if it was on that smooth concrete surface. The deck is completely free. As you can see, this deck has the load and go option as, as brackets put on there. Okay. Now, you will see how this bracket that we rotated forwards, how when that we took the deck off it hit that and it rotated back to the installed position that's how you want it in order to put the deck in the arms to, for them to connect correctly now like i said before this deck lifting mechanism is a mechanical lift so it's tied into your three point so if you are going to take the loader i mean the mower deck off in order to go out and do some loader work or if you're going to put a tiller on the back of the tractor what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start the tractor, pull all the way back your rock shop lever, and you will see now your mower deck lifting arms are in the up position. You will want to take your height, of, your height adjustment and you want to spin that as high as it'll allow, and you can see there it stopped. That's about four inches. And in order to do that, what that's doing is, is that's locking those arms up in the most parked position. So if you are going to use a tiller or a rotary cutter, you are not potentially catching any debris with those lifting arms. And I'll just do a quick demonstration here. You'll see when I move this lever forward, you'll see the three point arms are going down but your mower deck arms are still up in the safest position, okay? Now, what we have found also is, is if you are not using your mid PTO, if you're gonna use your three point and your rear PTO, it is best to change your PTO settings because you don't need to have your rear PTO spinning and your mid PTO spinning because if you do hit something, that could cause damage to your transmission filter um, or your drive shaft linkage. Just a little quick tip. So now what we'll do is we'll put the mower deck back on. But before we do that, you will notice, just as a little bit of a guide, this is to help guide you to help you line the tractor and your attaching arms up because you can't see those on the seat. So this guide right here, what you'll want to do, this one has the R3 radial tires. You'll just want to line the inside of your tire up with this gauge here. Now your turf tires or your R4 tires, you may have to be off of those, give or take. It just depends on the width of the tire.
you will see that that lined up pretty good. The key that you're looking for is this black bracket. You want it just kissing off the side, the side of this green mower deck right there. Okay. Now, so we're not screaming at you through the tractor. I left the tractor in neutral and you will see I should be able to just rotate that tractor forward and that deck is now reinstalled. The PTO shaft has been installed. It is now your brackets are on the, the right side of that green bracket. Before you take off, it's always good to reinstall your pins into your holes there. And again, the reason why these pins are there is to keep that from bouncing out of there, potentially bouncing out of there. Put the pin back in there. Now, we'll start the tractor up, raise the mower deck up. You'll raise the deck all the way up. You'll spin your dial to your desi desired height of cut here on your dial. You will lower that mower deck down to your height of cut that you want to mow at. But before you go, I've set the deck down. You will want to adjust your gauge wheels and these gauge wheels are designed, this mower deck is designed to float. So these gauge wheels should not support that mower deck when you're mowing. These gauge wheels are only there for scalping in case you hit a molehill or there's a hole in the yard, something like that. So you'll lock that in. Now, you will want to lock all four of these wheels in. You will not want to leave these free spinning because chances are if you do that, it'll rotate and when you do turn, this wheel could scalp or gouge the yard as well. So it's forward facing and it's able to roll. Now with that deck down, you should be able to freely spin those wheels. That'll help again with scalping and also your wheels won't wear out as fast. We'll lock all four in. The mower deck is now installed and you're free to go out and mow. Thanks for watching. If there's any other videos or how-tos you would like us to see, please put those in the comment section. Thanks again for watching.